We love to categorize and separate in our culture. We even do it in the church. We'll say they're the prayer warriors, they're the worshipers, they're the givers, they're the doers. And when we do that, we're sometimes taking ourselves off the hook for some of those other things. Now the gifts and talents of God may be diverse, but we are all called to pray, to give, to study, to do, to tell. These are the elements of our faith that make it a living faith, and they are necessary for all of us. And when we're not exercising these things in our lives, we can begin to grow weak, lifeless. Thank God that when we have faith in His Holy Spirit to lead us back into all truth, we can humble ourselves, pray, seek His face, turn from our ways. Remember, repent and believe. That message was for Jew and Gentile alike. It's for all of us. It is then that we hear from heaven and times of refreshing come. No more weak and lifeless, but we are overcomers in Christ Jesus when we are hearers and doers of the word. Like James says, I will show you my faith by my works. May we too walk out the same living faith, knowing that our labor is not in vain.